Hi, I'm AJ and thanks for checking out my channel. Uh, if you're not a current subscriber, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that like button because you're gonna like this video and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I create a video. Now let's talk about the potential gains if you were to put the money that you would have been spending on haircuts if you put that money into the stock market. So if you were a person that was spending $20 a month, that's $240 a month or $240 over the course of a year, and that at an 8% gain, you know, which is that average gain of the stock market or the S&P 500 actually gains a little bit more than that over the past 30 years, uh, that's over $250. So that's like a, a $10 gain by putting your money into the stock market instead of putting your money into the hands of the barber. Now that doesn't sound like a lot, $250, you had a $10 gain over the course of the year. But let's see what happens when you're getting a, a haircut every two weeks or you're getting a haircut every week and then extrapolate that over the course of a 10 or 20 or 30 year period. Now for just one year, like I mentioned, that's $250 that you could have at the end of the year. Now that's with monthly compounding of the, the gains that you're getting from the stock market. Uh, if you're getting a bi-weekly haircut, that's over $500. Now if you're getting a weekly haircut, that's over $1,000 that you could have over that time period. Now again, as far as specifically dealing with the gains that you could have had, with a monthly haircut, you would have made an additional $10. With a haircut every two weeks, you would gain an extra $20 on top of the money that you're you know, actually saving by not going to the barber. And with a weekly haircut, you could have gained another $40 through the stock market. Now let's see what happens when you do this over the course of a 10 year period. Over the course of 10 years, you're cutting your own hair, you're putting that $20 into the stock market instead of into your barber's hands. Let's see what that turns into. Now, over the course of a 10 year period, with you consistently putting that $20 into the stock market, with if you're doing monthly haircuts, that's over $4,000 that you would have in your investment account. Uh, with bi-weekly, that would be over $7,000. With weekly, that would be over $14,000. Now that's including your gains. Now your actual gains for putting that $20 every month into the stock market for the course of 10 years would be over $1,000. With putting $20 every two weeks, you would have over $2,500 in gains. With every week, you would have over $5,000 in gains. So with every week, with it being about $14,000 total that you that you have in your investment account, about $5,000 of that is in gains. So that means that over a 10 year period, you would have spent about $10,000 on haircuts. Yes, $10,000, it seems like a lot, but over a 10 year period and you're getting those weekly haircuts, that's how much money you're spending. And in addition to you spending that $10,000, that $10,000 didn't have a chance to grow. It didn't have a chance to make that other $5,000 that you could have gained by putting your money in investments. All right, now let's look at a 20 year period. And off the top of your head, you would think, okay, over a 10 year period, I had $14,000 if I was getting weekly haircuts. You're like, okay, it should be about double that amount, right? Actually, it will be more than double over a 20 year period because you think about it this it, this is not simple interest this is compounding so every gain that you have that money is also gaining money versus it just doubling because you doubled the amount of time that you put your money into the stock market it's the time plus the additional gains from the gains that you gain over that 10 year period and then over the next 10 year period to make 20 years so with monthly haircuts over a 20 year period, you would have over $11,000 at that 8% annual return. And $7,000 of that would be in gains. Getting your haircut every two weeks, you would have over $23,000 and $14,000 of that 23,000 would be just from gains. With a weekly haircut, you would have over $47,000 with about 28,000 of that being actual gains. So less than half of the money, around 20,000 is what you would have spent. So that stayed consistent because, you know, that's the amount of money that you're spending every week. 
but your actual gains have increased by more than double. In fact, your gain over the 10 year period for weekly haircuts was only $5,000. But over the 20 year period of putting that same money consistently in your investment account, it turned into $28,000 in gains. That's much more than double. Now let's look at a 30 year period. So if you're, you're someone that's you know, fresh out of high school or out of college, or even if you're, you're in your 30s, uh, 30 years from now, you could be retiring, right? Now, if you think about over that 30 year period, if you're consistently getting haircuts every month, every two weeks, every week, this is how much money you could have in an investment account if you just cut your own hair. So if monthly haircuts, you could have gained or you could have a total of about $30,000. Now your gains out of that 30,000, the gain would be over $20,000. With bi-weekly haircuts, you would have accumulated over $60,000. And over $45,000 of that 60,000 would be just from the gains. Now we go to those who, who want those crisp weekly haircuts. Uh, over a 30 year period, $120,000 is what you could have in an investment account. If instead of getting weekly haircuts over the course of 30 years, you put that money into the stock market, you let it compound over time, getting that average gain from the stock market or, or you know, S&P 500 ETF or index fund. And now you have over $120,000 and $91,000 of that 120 is just from the gains. So you would have spent over $30,000 just on the haircuts themselves. But instead, you save that money, you, you know, you bought some $250 clippers because, you know, you wanted to be fancy. So you went with the high end, you went for the best clippers. And because you spent that $250, 30 years from now, you have $120,000 that you saved, you know, that you put into the stock market and you ended up only putting $30,000 in, but you gained $90,000 over that period. And now that has turned into $120,000. So as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, uh, your haircut is actually a $200 haircut. So you spend $20, 30 years from now, that $20 would be worth $200. So every $20 that you put in is worth $200. Yeah, it, it's, it's really that major. That's like 10X your money over a 30 year period. Now I mentioned this a little bit earlier in the video as well, that you know by you, purchasing your own clippers and cutting your hair, you're actually learning a new skill, a skill that you could use as a side hustle. Uh, you can maybe even, you know, make it your actual business. Uh, with the money that you're saving, let's say over 10 years, you just took the money that you saved and that you invested and you turned that into a business and you open your own barbershop or, you know, whatever, whatever business you may be interested in, that's just one that you could do because it's related to what we're talking about. Now, this isn't just for the guys out there. These are for the ladies as well. Uh, ladies, your haircuts and your hairdos and all of the things that you do to take care of your hair, uh, you can find alternative ways to take care of it. Uh, taking care of your own hair is gonna be a greater value for you because you're gonna save so much money by not going to the hair salon. Uh, the average, you know, speaking of haircuts, the average haircut for a woman is over $40. And if you're getting a hairdo of some sort, you know, some of those hairdos like getting braids and things of that nature, it could turn into $300 easily. And let's not even talk about just hair. If you go and get your nails done, let's say you do that every week, that could be 20 or more dollars. And you'd be in the same boat as, you know, a guy that's getting a $20 haircut. So just think about, you know, it's not just about, uh, haircuts and hair and doing nails and you know things that you do for self-care uh this could relate to anything that you do this can relate to eating out just think about the alternative things that you could do to reduce the amount of money that you spend for those things and how much greater that money could be in the future if you actually invested into something. All right, thanks guys. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Again, if you're a subscriber, I really appreciate you being a subscriber. Thank you very much. If you're not, go ahead and click that subscribe button right now. Hit that like button if you like this video and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified next time I create a video. Uh, again, thanks for your time. You guys have a great day.